Check in people, I go and big up on yourself and you don't know how the thing go. Respect our manners goes out to one and all. You see it. Watch what I go on anyway. If I first time I pass through people, subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell. I don't know how the thing go. We have a couple things to talk about people. So we see we are social media influencer Sir P, yeah man, popular YouTuber Sir P, you know, hammer down a allegation and bright light owner. You see what I say, say he participated in a the cremation of Nick Fotoworks and also Clive Lizard Williams people. Very serious allegations. But we see where bright light owner clap back people and add some things to say addressing Sir P. We are gonna look into all of that people. We also see where a female uh, um, officer or an ex-female officer is declaring that Isaac Agoron or Isaac Buchanan and Agoron and not trick the people him. him need to let the people them know strictly that Vibes Cartel lost the appeal people. We are gonna look into what is being said there and see if we can, you know, see what I go on basically. You see what I mean I say? We also see where a, uh, you know, like a scuffle going between Ricky Trooper and also Jack Scorpio in a, a clash people. You see what I say? We are going to look into what I go on. So we also see where Tentic, dancehall artist Tentic, I say, you know, we lose with heritage and, you know, all our way culture and them thing that to foreigners. And he was speaking in regards to even the Bob Marley movie people. We are going to look into what he's saying there so as well, people. We also see where there is a debate on the internet. Um, as we see, we are some police officer wall on pan some mango teeth people. Just a very interesting story. We are gonna look into that as well, people. And another thing where we are gonna look into is the fact that we see where like Tanya Stevens reacted to you know some a a a, a recording of a chopper people or what we are call a scammer. And you know it's very hilarious. We see it viral over the internet. So we are gonna check out what I go on as well, my people. So you don't know as we tell you, do the right thing, subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell. Let's get into it, my people. Just as we think like the vibes cartel topic I go die down, you know, we see where another installation, another version of it pick up back again, people. So we that see where Sir P drop a video people and he is accusing Bright Light owner of you know the illegal cremation of Nick Fotoworks people and also Clive Lizard Williams people and as we you know very serious allegations you see what I say yeah man you don't know how the thing go you know that Clive Lizard Williams stop it there a lot of people are saying still alive some are say you know him probably run away for him some are saying dead you see what I say some are say this happened to him that happened to him and a bag of story however Sir P would have come out with a theory you now and he is saying that he was cremated by a particular individual people. And just for catching up to speed, we are going to play a little piece of what Sir P said just so we can get an understanding so we can see where we are reason from people. So check this out. About it, in a funeral home, there's nothing unusual about another body coming in. There's nothing unusual about her put them two bodies over there. So. It's nothing unusual. It's not anybody in the funeral home and verify to check for say. Right, everybody will come in. It's not missing. Although, to get around and they say, I'm going to reach in the future. I'm going to start verify every single body with the funeral home here. Take up. Because some of them people eh, officially right, just missing. Yes. The ground lizard looking day walker. They walk up and down with the family and help them look for Nick. The man so vile at one point, the man tell the family, say, if you give me your money, they can get him back because no, them no people. But they say the family start accepting accept, say, Nick, Nick dead and gone. Which, of course, you must say you know this from early now, but you know, you don't get closure. So sometimes in the back of your mind, you say, I still have kind of hope. I still have kind of hope. But the whole time, Tommy me my people, when I hear what Sir P said, clear and bright as day. So when I say, I say, I don't know a bright light in my deal with. So when I say bright and clear, you see it. So as you know hear on the allegations from Sir P and so forth. However, with that where Mr. Bright Light come out and you know declare that him no know and him not have a clue of what Sir P is saying. He is saying that he is an upstanding citizen that has never 
done anything wrong to reach where I'm reach in the sight of man or God. You see what I say? And he is saying that he would have want Sir P to refrain from using or slandering him name. I, I, um, for viewership or whatever him say these people so you don't know who is our youth we like to keep things balanced and look for things from many different perspectives you see what I say so we are going to hear what Mr. Bright Light is saying as it relates to Serpy argument people so make we quickly take a listen at what the man has said people and you can't tell me anything check it out ladies and gentlemen I'm not in today have it of responding to negativities you know because I'm a God-fearing person and um, God knows my heart now there's a rumor uh, rumors I should say going around in respect to a gentleman by the name of Sir P I don't know where he's getting this information from and to be honest with you I wish I knew where he was getting such false and degrading information from. My name is Tommy Thompson, Mr. Brightlight. In all my life, and uh, I'm, a matter of fact, I'm saying this with God to my witness, I have never once and no occasion ordered anybody to be killed or in any way, indirectly or directly, has nothing or anything to do with anyone who have died under any circumstances sir p i don't know where you're getting the information from or if they are made up or you're doing it to get viewerships or whatever but i'm asking you kindly to desist tommy thompson bright light and i will say again god to my witness i swear you said not to swear in his name but i'm doing that no if he wants to get an audit me then he has that right to do so I have nothing or anything to do with any of the allegations that is not being made by him. And I'm asking you, please, Sir P, to desist. Tommy Thompson has nothing to do with lizards. Tommy Thompson has nothing to do with my best friend, one of my best friends. And I said best friends in the sense that wherever we go, he's always taking pictures like anybody else. And that's somebody who has been... Uh, who was very very dear to me up to this day up to this day up to this day i can assure you and that humble human being could not have done anything i repeat that humble human being could not have done anything to me or anybody that is around me that would have resulted in his death and i don't know why anyone whether family friends on outside onlookers, sympathizers would think that this gentleman, Tommy Thompson, has anything to do with his disappearance. Also, lizards, I has nothing, nothing in all my years of business, which everybody knows I have made a massive impact as it relates to funerals in this country. I have no reasons, any reasons at all, to step out of my line of business to do something that is I would consider out of bounds for my services never ever ever done that I don't own a cremator the system is in this country is so attached in direct contact that there is no way I could have done that because there are only two cremators in this era of Kingston and everything and these two cremators are professionals and they follow procedures. You have to go through procedures. And I don't think, I don't know why anybody would bring anybody to me then under the circumstances to dispose of under any circumstances unless it is legit and legally done. And I'm asking, Sir P, I don't know you. As a matter of fact, it's my intention to seek advice on this matter. I'm asking you, please, sir, to desist from putting my name out in a negative light. I'm asking you please to desist from your actions. If you want to speak to me at any given time, sure, you can speak to me. You can Google me and you can get to me and you can speak to me directly. 
but I'm asking you, please, kindly to desist from these allegations, which has no basis, has no merit. And I, and I plead that in the name of Jesus Christ, because I know me, and my God know me. And who is close to me, know me. I'm a man of dignity. I stand with a dignified standing in this society. I work hard for it. I didn't buy it. I didn't hurt people to get where I'm at. I worked hard. I have changed this industry. I brought it to where it's at today. And I don't want my name to be flagged in any way. Thank you, sir. Hey, my people. That is what Mr. Bright Light has said. I don't know what to think. You don't know. We depend on the internet for a while and we understand how the internet works. You go have a set of people where basically from them see the video drop them say yo a lie sir P I tell him no know where him I say. You have, have, have a next set of people I go say yo a true sir P I talk. Him know exactly where him I say. You see it people and you have, have a next set where I work with like the proof. You see what I say? I say all right. You I say what I say and you can be wrong and you can be right but what I want you fi can actually bring the proof of what you are saying still people you see what I say and as me, you don't know all the thing going on we know they have to jump and say this man wrong or this man right or you know we just they have to pass on the message and you know do a little reaction to what really are going on so I don't know what the thing people are two different people are present an argument Sir P is saying that you know, when him check the level, based on his intel and so forth, this is the guy that discarded these two individuals. However, Mr. Bright Light, I say, well, him no know nothing about that. You see what I say? Yeah, man, a mix up and slander and misinformation, Sir P, I deal with. So, I want to tell me what I think, people. Yeah, man. Well, on the same topic of Sir P, people, would I say we are a uh, individual uh, elder basically you know with a char fire and a but a fire pan serpy and also Paula Llewellyn you see what I say stating that anyone that is saying that Paula Llewellyn is right in a the old vibes cartel case is an idiot also declaring that in a his view serpy is a idiot as well you see what I say that is not my words people that is the man word you see what I say we have a like run the video so you can hear what the man has said, why he declare for himself, you see? Yeah, man. So, he basically has said, yo, Sir P, a idiot, because what Sir P attack, he don't know what he attack, say, and one bag of things, my people, you see what I say? Yeah, man. So, check this out. Paula Llewellyn, you know Paula Llewellyn. You make some arrow in a cartel case. That's why you know a Lego cartel, you know. Because you know your arrow when you make it, you know. You ever see this in a no country, in a history, you a man and charge him for murder and send go lick down, go lick down your apartment and send go lick down your man's house, your man expensive house. Hmm? Paula, you just feel like say, everybody at Jamaica is idiot, you know. You see who follow up you and talk good boy, you are the idiot, you know. Everybody will follow you and talk boy, you are the Serpy. You think Serpy has sense? Serpy a madman, you know, Serpy a clean clothes madman, you know. Serpy not a sense, you know? Everybody will follow you, an idiot like you. You want a man and a charge him for murder and send him to prison and send him to the man house. What the man house do you? You claim to say man kill a man and you have him in a custody and you go to the man house. People, so the man say, Paula Llewellyn made an arrow, you know, you see what I say? I don't know if it's an arrow movie or a bow and a row, you see? But I guess he more say error still, but you don't know. If you have got disrespect, people say them done still. You have to make sure you say your thing up in terms of speeches and so forth. And I like we were just they bought the place and just attack the thing like how it go. You see what I say? Yeah, man, the man had declared say the ones them are done say idiots still. You see it? But anyways, tell me what you think about the elder argument still. If you don't feel like it's valid or you don't feel like him just attack a bunch of rubbish out of passion and anger and probably love for the DJ Vibes Cartel. You know, let me know what the thing still people. You see what I say? And we just are gonna move on straight into a reasoning from a former police officer. She is saying that she don't know what go on, what is the big deal, what is the alabalo, but she noticed that Isaac Buchanan continuously are go around and interviews and make certain speech and I make it look like him in a celebration mood. When she really checked the level, she has said in her view. Isaac and the Vibes Cartel team has lost the appeal and if they did actually win the appeal, them would have um, Vibes Cartel and him other 
Kwaki was them who had the pan the ground the home already people. You see me I say so check this out and tell me what you think about what this lady is saying because I find it very interesting. Check it out. Am I to believe that cartel lawyer does not understand the terms of reference? He's alive every day talking about squash. What is this great new big fancy word of squash? Cartel lost the appeal. If he won the appeal, he would be at home with Shorty. And this lawyer, these lawyers are a set of dishonest people just taking purses, money, and, and, and creating rubbish, sitting on live every day talking rubbish like they don't understand law. When you win the appeal, the Commission of Corrections get a letter from England or get a call or an email to say, release John Brown forthwith. And so we would be at the station sitting down and see and saw John Brown come to the station to say he will be reporting for a job. I said, but you're supposed to be in prison. He won the appeal. Hell, how, how the hell you won the appeal? Yeah. When you win the appeal, you are released immediately and gone to your yard. The matter was sent back for trial because England don't want to get involved in that matter. So they send back the matter for Jamaica to decide. The evidence that the DPP has about who chop up, who I use boot as, as gun, or lizard still in a tree, a climb up. All of those evidence are still in the position of the DPP. The only person who need to present something new is Cartel and his team. Because they want retrial, so they will have to present new evidence to prove his case. The DPP don't have to prove anything because she already have her, her evidence in hand. It's since when the law change. The law don't change. The law is the same. Roadside law is different from courthouse law. All of you running up and down chatting this rubbish about squash. What the hell is squash? What squash mean? No stop on a rubbish, man. I'm not stopping a rubbish. And, 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 and that lawyer there, that is just taking this man money, just taking this man money. Need to do better than that. People, so, Mumza says she not really understand the bag of bragging and boasting and all of them things there. Where eyes at the pan, this ass mentality and this bag of talking, talking and them things there. That's what I mean, I say, people. Yeah, man, she is saying that in her view, you know, based on the law, you know, cart, based on the law and what she knew about and her knowledge, um, Cartel would have lost the appeal. And she is saying that she not have no knowledge of the law is, um, be, has been changed. So, in her view, Isaac Buchanan out here has spread and has sell the people in false hope because by his logic of um, winning the appeal and so forth, Cartel should have been home and that is not what happened. You know, this um quote unquote word quashed and so forth that a circle yet not really mean nothing because at the end of the day it just show clear that England never really want to have not much to do with the case so them send it right back at Jamaica where Vibes Cartel a try if he, a, a, where, where Vibes Cartel himself a try if he avoid people you see what I mean I say yeah man so when you can tell me what you think about our reasoning or our logic and you don't know you are going to have people who say everybody are too much people have opinion on this thing and you know a lot of people are village liar and all of the little little things them where people have been attacked on the internet since this vibes cartel thing are rotated so let me know what you think though people people next up we have a little hilarious what seems to be or nearly seems to be a scruffle between um, veteran selector Ricky Chupa and also Jack Scorpio. I find it hilarious. Our music still in you know, people, but at the end of the day, more while 
them say when music hit you, you feel no pain, you know. But some of the time, if the music clout you from a dub plate style, you will want all for fight. You see, yeah, man. Obviously, Jack Scorpio and Chupa a clash my people, and you know, Chupa pull off a little craft pan Jack Scorpio and drop a dub plate pan him. And trust me, Jack Scorpio get cross like Bunty in a the killer days. That's what I say, yeah, man. Cross, angry, miserable, and even declared pan a level say, yo, him no like Chupa and one bag of things my people and as we say we find it very hilarious still and two veteran them still people but you know the fact that me feel like that dub plate the clout him you know him just have a react panel level there. we are going to show the way I go and so they can get the understanding and even my laugh if you know you find it hilarious check this out Jack you think you are God you think you are God and you control my destiny you are going to shut down me and go dead hey I'm not eating until you come out and dance with paper with your song them funny. Yes. Yo, my paper in my hand is a computer. Now tell us something, Jack, tonight. Yo, I'm going to tell you something tonight, Jack. Pull up! Pull up! Hey, people! I look up pussy! I'm with you, I'm with you! I'm with you! I'm with you! Where are you going? 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 people so when you see what i go on big up the elder them and the veteran them said we yes what i say i'm glad it never surpassed that there is another video where you know trooper amicably you know sort out the whole thing and i make them know say yo a, a, a social media presence in a, and the man them are the man them are elder you can't really have news or go out they have man a fight and a disrespect them one or whatever yes what i say so at the end of the day it never really surpassed where you see go on this but that was very hilarious in my view still people based on the reaction of the crowd and oh the man dropped the dub plate and so forth and jack scarpia reaction when the man take up because jack scarpia look like he's a man with up in our image so him name my main body tune them out time it so him have a like him like a paper for right down him dub plate them and where him go use for kill ricky trooper musically <laughs> line by line and you know track by track you see what I say so as I say very hilarious people but anyways we can move on so we see where dance hall artists authentic people yeah man we see where authentic is speaking on the fact that you know he thinks that the Jamaican heritage has been so low and the Jamaican culture has been so low to foreigners you see what I say he is saying that him not see where Jamaica the core and the root of Jamaica are all on the culture on certain level. That's why I say, yeah man, the artists get dark and propose and put forward a certain argument. You see, he also made me reference of the old Bob Marley movie and I say when him really check the background of most of these people, especially the people in my star and I, they are not Jamaicans. You see, so that are uh, the point to him are, um speak from. He's saying that anything when major and you know, we have to do with the culture. It, uh, it, it we have to do with the culture. The, the top line of it are the, you know, the, 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 the leadership of it is not really Jamaican people. So, we could take a little listen at what Authentic is saying. Some people agree and some people may say a rubbish. So, check it out. The background, the deal with Bob Marley movie, and tell you, say. We don't lose the culture, we don't lose the heritage, and we don't lose all power to keep our identity safe. Tell me so we don't lose the power to keep our identity safe. But check out the background of the bum buckler people and we act by Mali show. You don't know, look like we have no talent at Jamaica, we don't have no mindset at Jamaica because why we don't have to go for be a people? Well, they know about Mali and Grave, they not too like their lifestyle. And you have to act a movie for him. We deceit people. Yo, Jamaica, no gone. Jamaica, no culture gone. I tell me, I tell you, when I try to be like new bum buckler, when I gone. Yeah, me, I tell you, when know, you know, you know, fighting spirit, when you know, the warrior spirit gone. Our people came out of bum buckler, JLE, and Range Rover, and flag out America. Go check out the people in background. 
my beautiful people, that is what Tentica is saying, you see it? And as I said, I can tell more on the thing, you know, it's very interesting why I'm having this still, you see what I say? And if probably a lot of people might agree, and some people may disagree, you know, in terms of like the Bob Marley movie, some people may just look upon, you know, they might work with who qualify for actually um, bring across a good movie, they don't really care if the person is Jamaican, yes or no. And you'd have some people who tell us strictly say they would have prefer this person or that person. They would have give pa um or bring across a more authentic Bob Marley persona, especially in a, the, the the movie. You see it? Me personally watch the movie and you know me think it alright. You know, me think they they they, they the, the person them play them role perfect and me think them bring across an understanding story where the world can take on to, not just Jamaican still, as what I say. But at the end of the day, you know, there is some understanding to what Tentica say. Once me you not know, agree with him, hundred percent I have some way me agree, but at the end of the day, to each his own. But let me know one thing still. Some people whether see where some police well on pan some youth we seem like a girl got thief some a thief mangoes, as we may say people. And with that, me just the reason why me even post it, it me just want to hear what the people them have to say about it. Because mother even like see it on other social media platforms and you know me find the comments them interesting. Some people are can do and some people are say low the youths them and so forth. As we may say, yeah man, it based on what we have seen in the video, it only seems as if them get charged because the police them never really catch them like with no mangoes or catch them or come out of anybody yard. But they would like get reports of them and them see them with the stick them and the bag them and so forth. You know so them would make them know say yo if them did actually catch them with the produce them them would have like you know lock them up and so forth but as me say you have a lot of people that say different different things based on for them observation of the video so i want to look on it and tell me what on the thing so check this out sir what's your name Shakir, I'm where you from I'm what number by grade sir 13 by grade that's a hundred you have in you yeah what's your name bro, sir bro, bro. I'm I'm Eh? No, we don't want that. No, 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 the yeah. only reason I'm going to charge you that too, I'm not catching you with the mango, yeah? I'm charging you. Right? And if, if any of the citizens or citizen, citizen in Vinaya Town know these young men and saw them recently picking mango from the trees, who you know, can come and give us a statement, we're willing to go before the court with them. Because these who are not menace to society, who are not menace to the people, they left their house locked up and gone to work. And left them here locked up and gone to work. And all they do is just pray at the people, them mangoes. Right? Our, our thing is every day things, uh, sure, sir, we don't care for nothing is every day or whatever. We don't care for pick up the people and man go off and train. We don't find something else to go build them, go build grass, go to labor work. I ain't got to go to the labor work. I ain't got to go to the labor work. I ain't got to go to the labor work. Just do this thing. Believe the people and man goes. Believe the people and man goes. Last time I want to you come from one of you? Who more one of you come from? The left one of you. And you come from here? Right here. Much right here? 13 back here. So when it may ask me to get them particulars, you know. Get them particulars and put in, and I put in, in the diary. Mm -hmm. So that when, when the people them are miss them and go, we know the final. This stick will not leave the station. Right? We don't care. 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 No, man. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. Right? No, no. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. And so forth. What is me? I'm not going to talk about them. I can't escape it. Everything I got to right? You cannot. I go on and pick up the people and go off and then look up and look at Look at you want to look at them. Then I saw no one live one, two, because I'm going to go to the people in the community. Sir? One yard, one yard. So one yard, one bungalow, one bungalow? Not necessary. Depends. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you're fine with the mango, I will charge you. Right? But. Anybody in Guinea at all, if we have these first, these two young men on camera, no comfort and give a statement.
they will be charged and bring, and bring before the court, right? To answer to, 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 to charges, right? And then the prisoner, three days last me up. You can't answer me people in Mango for the chair and tell me say, and, and support, right? General, you cannot do this. Young men, you cannot do this. All right? <laughs> People, so not hear what go on this. So, what are the most hilarious part of when one of the little man them say it's not a regular thing, brother? <laughs> you know, yeah, when you're in wrong, you keep your mouth shut if you know I'm nothing smart. Me say, general, you see, it because that's what I dumbest thing me hear. You see, what I say, yeah, man, I bet you didn't say nothing at all. But at the end, I did still people. You don't know, you would have a lot of people who look upon it and I say, yo, we as youths, everybody possible have them experience there. Of you know going around picking mango, picking fruit and them thing there and so forth. You see what I say? But probably people are look on the levels of it. If you are go because you have like enough little youth when you're young, you go pick two mango and so forth. For, you are probably on a year or three them and just to establish it's not right. You see what I say? But you don't know how picnic to you. But and probably as we say on a year or three them, but you just go pick two mangoes. But them and your thing look like it they on a more commercial level. You see what I say? Because you would see them with stick and bag and so forth so it would have look like probably them are going to pick mango for us land you can't really write that none at all you see what i say if a man just hungry and i go beat two mango it's more understandable but if you are going to empty the, a person tree in them yard because you want mango for your hustle that is on a whole different level you see what i say yeah man he, and as me say when i like a charge them would have say it's not a everyday thing but no matter if a one day two day ten day it's still wrong still, as I say people. But as I say, it's interesting for your phone feedback and that whole thing there. Based on what I see on other platforms. So let me know in the comment section. Uh, vi viral video when I see on the, 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 the internet people when I find very hilarious is you know a, a so-called chopper and a client. You see what I say? Yeah man, we are talking about a scammer and a client. A man a try to scam a old lady however it will look like it's not one of them prank scammer the people but at the end idea it's very hilarious because the person i do some things we chew off the scammer and the scammer i get hungry and even talking and raw pat to a tone and a cuss be a bad word and them thing the people that's what i say when you listen it you can't do nothing but laugh that's what i say people yeah man I, people as me say me see it as circulate social media me i say no sir i have to share this with my viewers and subscribers them me alone can't get the laugh yeah you see it plus you know there are stuff where you can talk about as it relates to it as well people so more of you hear what i say about this and you know more to know if you have a laugh as well so listen to these people right. tell you what to write all right okay so i'm asking you you're not gonna write down nothing i will tell you when to write okay all right yes so do you do you have the two hundred dollars with you now at home? Do I have what? Oh, two hundred. The two hundred. Oh, you, what I wrote down here. The two hundred dollars. Two hundred yeah. dollars. Do, do yeah. you have it at yeah, home? Yeah, I do have it. Yeah. All right. So listen, what you're gonna do? No, now you're gonna write. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna write. So you write it down. All right. This okay. is what you're gonna write down now. Okay. Yes. You ready? Yeah. I'm gonna yes. tell you what to write. I'm going to. Yes. You're tell gonna write vanilla. You. What Listen. to? Hello. Last right. You Van don't need to write that. What's wrong with you? Vanilla. Did you say vanilla? That's the only thing you need to write. It seems like everything I said to you, you write it down. You're wasting my time. You're wasting my. Ask. Time. Hello. Hello. We, we keep getting disconnected. I'm trying to. I'm trying. No, I think I listen, might have hit it with listen, my cheek. I'm, I'm holding the phone with my the side of my cheek so I can write. No. And I didn't. Listen, I didn't know listen, if I might listen. have hit the hit the yeah, end, listen, end button or something. Can you listen to what it I'm saying? It has a button that Just sometimes listen. I press by accident. Listen, listen, yes, listen, listen, listen. I'm listening. You just keep talking, talking, talking. Listen. No, oh, I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah, because like sometimes I can't. I can actually turn my my phone up if I need to hear it more. If the person is low, it you has, just it need to listen, 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 listen. Listen. Should I turn it up so you don't have to uh, yell? Because it seems like you might be yelling a little bit. Yes. I can turn, turn it, it up. up. Turn it up. Yes. Turn it up. Right. Yes. Turn it up. All right. Okay. You can hear me better now. Yes. Can you hear me better? A lot can you hear, better. Can you hear me better? Okay. Good. Good. A, a lot better. A lot it's better. Louder. So, it's louder. So, 
All right. So, yeah, so listen now. It's a, it's a lot. Yes, it's a lot better now. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Listen, when I, you don't listen. need to write nothing. I will tell listen. you what to write. You don't need to write everything I said to you. How are you going to write everything I say to you? How are you? You don't need to write that. Don't write that. Well, what, what, if I thought you said to write everything that you say, though. No. No. But I'm trying to take down all of the information that I can. Listen, you don't need to write that. You don't need to write that. You are you stupid? Are you crazy? I tell that. you what to write. Bumbara. Okay, let I me just so let me just start a new page, and I'll put at the top. Listen, listen, L listen. Can you hear me? Listen. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. People, so you obviously, as you can see, you know, the client has sweat the dog, you know, man. You see what I say? Yeah, man, man, I get frustrated, but another level. You see, it, people, but can't do nothing but laugh, cause as I say, hey, just observing this, man, yeah. You know, because he say, yo, is a man where just jumping at this thing without much sense. Because if you, if that person we have, we have sense, just listening to that person, you know, just he say, yo, as somebody we are tied with you or whatever. You see what I say? But at the end, I did to all the person on the other end who would have played the role of the scam client, player of the old lady person who are so perfect people. A person where are idiot would even realize, say, the person just to take them for a bigger idiot and I record them for put them to the world people. You see what I say? But as I say, it's very hilarious. And at the end of the day, I just saw the game set. It's a very hard day in the office for that camera. You see what I say, people? But him not really done yet. You know, him still a go on. You know, him still a try and look. He still a see if him can take down the two bills, you know, people. So continue to listen. Yeah. I can hear you. I can hear you. You know, you, you're not, you're not can... following me. Hear you? Am I supposed to be writing like how the conversation is going, or or just the key points? No, no, no. What am What am I What am I supposed to be doing then? The only thing you need to write, I'm gonna tell you what, what to write is now. What you say? Okay. All right. Okay. You're gonna write vanilla gift card. You're going to write. You don't need vanilla. to write that. You don't. You just need to told me to write. It. Vanilla. Hello! Hello! Gift card. The only thing you're gonna write is vanilla gift card. The only thing. You don't need to write that. Just write vanilla gift card. You don't need okay. to write that. Just write. Hello! Gift card. You're stupid. I'm gonna hang up. I'm gonna hang up the phone. You're wasting my time. You. Did you use a contraction there, or you said you're, right? Listen. You are. All right. Ke Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Bumbar Asklan. Acha, acha, acha. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Acha, acha, acha. I don't know what that means. Hello. Hello? Hello. Yes, hello. Can you hear? I can, I can hear. Something wrong with your hair? No, Listen, something no. wrong with your hearing? Uh, I don't think so. I have an appointment for my hearing in, in two weeks, actually. All right, listen. Get, I just need you to listen to what I'm saying. I just want you to know that you're hearing what I'm saying to you. Can you hear? Can you hear? Yes. You, every, you don't need to write on all those stupid stuff you're writing down. I, I'm not writing stupid stuff. I'm just writing information. No, you don't need to write that. You oh. don't need to write nothing. Oh, okay. The only, the only thing I, the only thing I tell you what to write. When I tell you to write, you write. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. So you're uh, wasting my time now. You wasting. What's up? My what? time. Why are you writing? Why do you yeah. keep writing down that? I'm waiting for. I thought you. What do I write down then? You were waiting for me to write it down. I thought. I thought the pause no! was for me to write it down. I you thought, you were, give, I thought you were giving me time to write listen, it down. Listen, 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 listen. Get a piece of paper. The only thing you're going to write is the name of the card that you're going to purchase for $200. That's all you're going to write. $200. Fuck. 
Yeah, my beautiful people, man. That's how the thing go, man. You don't know how the thing go. Yeah, man. We come to the closing of another one. So make sure now, leave one of the thoughts on the topics, then. We have some very interesting topics. Tell me what you think about what Sir P said, and tell me what you think about what Bright Light said. You see what I say? Yeah, man. Which one of them would you believe? Or, you know, what would have to say about the whole situation? Also, the lady where put forward the argument as it relates to Isaac and him going around trying to, you know, get. Uh, um, win a case in a public court per se with, with all of these bag of interviews and so forth you know while she is saying that she feel like vibes cartel lost the appeal let me know what you think you know a number of other other things they have to talk about as well so if i want to reach down in this section i black big up on yourself respect and manners as well as it catch you in another one i'm out